Parkour! Parkour! Parkour? Uh, that looks a bit too far, don't you think? Par- Whoa! <laughs> you good? Almost made it. Weren't even close. Hey, Brutus. Why is Tony always playing with those heavy thingies? He ain't playing. He's exercising. That's how you talk to ghosts? You're thinking exorcism. Exercise is when you lift heavy stuff to get bigger and stronger. That works? More or less, yeah. Hmm. Wow, all that exorcism is really paying off. Sure is. Wowee. No, Pixie, that's not how it works. What? I didn't even say anything. 23! 23 what? 23 times climbing up and down this rock pile. Oh, why? Training! I'm going to be the first cat to climb Everest Mountain. You know Mount Everest is pretty high, right? Of course! But nothing is impossible with hard work and a positive attitude. It's about 30,000 feet tall. Oh, uh, how many rock piles is that? Dunno. I guess around 10,000. Also, it's in Asia, like 8,000 miles away from here. Um, uh, how many backyards is that? Hey, Brutus, what would you do if someone got their, uh, hand stuck in a vacuum cleaner? Uh... I guess I'd try to pull it out. Okay, but what if you didn't want to pull too hard because it could yank out his feathers? What? This is a hypothetical question, right? Um... Pixie? Oh... How? Sorry, Gerald. I'm not very good at lying. Wowee! I've never seen a real porcupine before. Hey, hey now back off, cat! Listen, I know you porcupines have a bad reputation for spiking anyone that gets too close. That is a thoroughly accurate reputation. Well, I'm a firm believer in breaking stereotypes. So to show you that I trust you, I'm gonna give you a big ol' hug. I am literally promising that I'll spike you if you get any closer. Come here, buddy. Pixie. Aww. Does it... Does it hurt? Nope. Feels fantastic, actually. Thanks for asking. Are you sure it doesn't hurt? It looks like it hurts. Does it now? Because it feels just terrific. I hope that porcupine comes around again so I can get a second round of face quills. I'm sorry. I just thought... You just thought what? That it was a good idea to try to hug an angry porcupine? Is that what you just thought? I... I don't know. <sighs> Listen, Pixie, you're not a kitten anymore, and I won't always be around to save you. You just... The world can be a nasty place, okay? If you're too soft, it'll squish you. And if you're too trusting, it'll stab you in the back. Or in the face. Oh, ha <laughs> ha. I see what you did there. Okay, I'll try to be more careful. That's all I need to hear. So, just to be totally clear, you were being sarcastic about it not hurting, right? Yeah, it hurt a lot. One, two, three, <laughs> thirty-nine, forty. All right, ready or not, here I come. <laughs> Brutus will never find me. I look just like a pile of leaves. It's the perfect camouflage. It's camouflage. What? You found me already? Well, leaves don't usually talk out loud to themselves about how much they look like leaves. Oh, right. Also, you didn't cover your butt. Engines. Vroom. Hmm. This race car has a very quiet engine. Uh, it's electric. How about you do the sound effects? Skrrr! Whoosh! Yay! First place. 
Wowee, Brutus! You're really fast! It was like driving a real race car! <laughs> that was just a jog. Didn't want you getting hurt. Let's head inside now. Okay. <sighs> I'm getting too old for this. Wowee! What a shiny lamp! Holy moly! I am the all-powerful genie. I shall grant three wishes to thou who has summoned me. Hmm. I wish for 100 wishes. You can't wish for more wishes. I wish that I could. <sighs> Fair enough. I wish to be a dinosaur. Rawr! Do I really have to sit in this bucket? You mean magic lamp? Right. Yes, you are bound to the magic lamp for all of eternity. But don't worry. I'll use my hundredth wish to set you free. I wish you'd do it sooner. What is that fuzzy clump up there? Oh, it's a bat. Oh, maybe it's a vampire in disguise. Vampires ain't real, Pixie. But do you know bats are the only mammals on Earth that can fly? Really? Did you know that bats are nocturnal, as in we sleep during the day? Hint, hint. Right, we'll leave. You forgot about unicorns. They're mammals, and they can fly, too. Unicorns ain't exactly real, either. Besides, they actually can't fly. You're thinking of a pegasus or an alicorn. Why do I know this stuff? Seriously, guys! Go jabber somewhere else! I'm trying to catch some Zs here! Yeah, yeah, we're going. Don't get your wings in a twist, Count Dracula. Oh, real cute. That's a nasty stereotype, you know. Shame on you. Darn. Gates closed. This looks like a job for my super ninja cat skills. <sighs> easy peasy, lemon easy. Squeezy. Oh, easy peasy, squeezy easy. That's not, never mind. Okay, so just do what I did, but be extra careful on the shovel. It's kind of slippery. Wowee! Super Ninja Dog Skills. Brutus! Look what my eyes do when I shine light on them! <laughs> Pretty cool, right? Very cool. Want to see something else cool they can do? Yeah! Sit on that shelf over there. Okay. Now what? Pretty cool, right? Very cool. Hey, Randall! Do you want to play dress up? I'd honestly rather get run over by a dump truck. You're kidding. You would love to. It sounds fun. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. I would love to. Sounds like fun. Yay! Wowie! What do you think? I look completely... You love it. You think you look amazing. I love it. I look amazing. Aw, yay! Fresh pumpkin? Don't mind if I do. The pumpkin ain't Randall! Huh? Oh, yes. Come closer, little kitten. And I'll eat you, too. The pumpkin's alive! The pumpkin's alive! Psh, dumb furball. Spit him out! What the? Yeah, you, uh, you'd risk getting eaten by a pumpkin monster to save me? Well, yeah. Wow, uh, thanks, I guess. No problem. It's what friends do. Right, Brutus? Right. Yeah. How are you so big but so sneaky at the same time? Leave. Leaving. I can feel you staring at it. What? Me? I'm not staring at anything. <sighs> I had an infected cut. They needed to shave the hair to treat the wound. Oh, that? I didn't even see it. It's barely even noticeable. You're trying too hard. You know what? It actually looks good on you. Just stop. I wish my head had a bald spot. Seriously, shut up. Yes, sir. A whole fruitcake? It's a Christmas miracle. Aw, come on, man. 
It's just gonna end up in a dump anyways. <sighs> Fine. I guess it's okay if you... Thanks. Bye. <sighs> Randall. Hey. Uh, are you a ghost or something? Do you float? Listen, it occurs to me that lately I've been unfairly hostile towards you. Oh. Like last week, when you threw me over the fence for littering? Yeah, uh, sorry about that. Or when you threatened to remove my jaw for chewing too loud? I don't remember that one. I do. Vividly. Well, point is, my job is to keep Pixie safe. But I guess sometimes I can be a tad over-aggressive. You haven't been troubled for some time now, so I ought to start treating you better. Well, well, look who's warming up to me. Looks like even Big Bad Brutus can't resist my natural charm. I was just playing! Hands up, bad guy! I'm taking you to bad guy jail! You think I'm just gonna give up? Don't you know who I am? When I fell into a vat of toxic newspaper, I was transformed into the evil Dr. Paperface. And Dr. Paperface surrenders to no one. Well, in that case, freeze there! Gah! My only weakness, being frozen! Gotta admit, you're a lot better at this pretend stuff than I am. It's about committing to the role. I'm not pretending to be frozen in ice. I am frozen in ice. All right. Ready or not, here I come. <laughs> me win for sure this time. You gotta be kidding me. Psst. Oh, found you. Let's just let you go win this time. He'll never learn if people take it easy on him. Oh, come on. He's got a huge disadvantage, literally. How can you expect him to win at hide and seek when he's twice the size of everyone else? Hmm. I suppose you got a point. And what about her? Oh, Lola? She has no excuse. She's just an idiot. Look, Mr. Wrinkles. Another spaceship. Huh? Ugh. I keep telling you, Lola, those are not spaceships. They're commercial airliners. That one in particular appears to be a Boeing 747. First flown in 1969, it has a maximum capacity of... Oh boy, here we go. Nope, not a 747. W what 747s have four jet engines. This is a twin jet. Only has two. No way. Ha! You were wrong about something! W well... You thought it was a spaceship! Yes, but I'm not the know-it-all smarty pants here. You are. Or at least, you were. Turns out you're just a big dummy like me. I'm seriously going to scratch you if you don't let this go. Aww. Hugo, time to wake up. Come on, big guy. <sighs> Hugo, wait! Uh, Hugo, get up. Bro, can't, can't breathe. Light fading. Is this it? Will this be the last thing I see? No, I cannot go out like this. You're sorry, Hugo, but it's you or me. Brother? <gasps> oh, hello, Mr. Rinko. What you doing here? Oh, nothing. Just cheating death. A brand new dog bed. Made specifically for large dogs. With your name very literally written on it, custom embroidered. And yet you choose to plop your hairy shedding butt on my bed. Oh, sure. Get mad at me for laying on your bed. But you don't care at all when Hugo sleeps on your cat tree thingy. <sighs> I still don't know how he gets up there. It defies the laws of physics. You're an owl. Yeah. Give me some of your owly wisdom. Well, for starters, owly isn't a word. Cool, what else you got? Uh, the capital of Spain is Madrid? Well, that ain't wisdom. That's just knowledge. Indubitably, and it's not even correct. Nah, she's right. It's Madrid. Really? I thought it was Mexico. Eres un idiota. <laughs> Ouch! Brutus! 
Would you care to hear a scary campfire story? Sure. Okay. Once upon a time, there were two people walking through the woods when all of a sudden they saw a ghost. Uh, then what happened? The end. Oh. Did you like it? Pretty spooky, huh? Oh, yeah. Especially the one part about the ghost. I have formed a crystal kiss. I will soon grow wings like a butterfly. You... You gotta know that's not how it works. Probably, but it's worth a try. That should be long enough. Huh. I'm stuck. Yep, I figured. Hey, Brutus! Look! I'm a dill pixie. Get it? Because my name is Pixie and that kind of sounds like pickle? Yep, I get it. And I'm in a pickle jar? Yeah, that's very clever. And that's where pickles go. <laughs> yeah, I understand. Wait, is that still full of pickle juice? Yep. Oh. Also, I'm stuck. <sighs> Welcome to my humble abode. Abode? Abode. Yeah. As you can see, I have not one, but two whole windows. Both on the same wall. Very nice. And some fancy house decorations, of course. Yes, of course. Really breathes life into the place. I even have my own double-bedded mattress. Uh, I think your bre- Er, your bed might end up getting moldy. You might want to use something less edible. Well, what are you waiting for? Come on in! Uh... Brutus, come! Brutus? 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 Wait, why am I looking here? Bruta- Oh. I see. I will destroy anything that poses a threat to this innocent child. What the? Oh, of course. Of course I'm the stormtrooper in this thing. Why am I even surprised? Nah. I ain't doing this. I'm out. Hey, Lola. You want a race? Seriously? Okay, sure, if you say so. First one to the stop sign wins. Three, two... Wait, I gotta get ready first. Be right back. Oh. Okay. Okay, I'm ready. Yeesh, finally. What took you so... long? Oh, nothing much. I just had to put on my running legs. Yeah, I'm going to have to take the loss on this one. Aw, come on. Just one race? Hmm. Now all it needs is some light. Aw, man. Fire breathing is hard. How about we just use electric candles? Can we have candy? Wow. Sure, but there's going to be a mommy tax. Wait, one, two, three. Uh, who's this? Um, she just kind of showed up. What? I just kind of showed up. Oh, thank goodness. That must be your mother. I am so sorry, ma'am. Brutus! Man? Sir? It's fine. She's got a knack for wandering off. I had candy! Let's do jumping jacks! Who's Jack? How do babies happen? Whoa, cool scars! Are you a gangster? Did a zombie bite you? <laughs> well, getting late. Uh, time for bed. <laughs> it's only 1,500 hours. Kitty, 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 kitty. Let's get those teeth brushed. Nice to meet you, sir. Morning, Brutus. I had a super cool dream last night. Yeah? What about? First, we went Scooby, uh, scuba diving, and then we discovered the lost city of Atlanta, er, Atlantis. Then, we explored a dragon lair full of treasure. Then we went to Ice Cream Land. Ice Cream Land? A land made of ice cream. Oh, of course. Then we rode on colorful balloons up into the clouds. Then we escaped a fleet of alien spaceships. Wow, that's one eventful dream. Yep. 
What do you dream about, Brutus? Meh. Same sort of stuff, more or less.